Hi everyone, Nicholas Barfidis here from Cypress and today's video tutorial is about OneDrive and sharing folders and files in OneDrive and in particular all about being able to access files which have been shared with us directly from Windows Explorer. This way we won't have to log in from 365 portal to access OneDrive and go to the shared with me section. You will be able to access these files and folders directly from Windows Explorer and they will be synchronized amongst all the people that are actually members of that shared folder. Now, the advantages of this, well, all the advantages of the traditional or the old networked or mapped network drive. All the files which are accessed and modified are automatically synced across all of the devices, allow you to access these files from within the network or from home or anywhere you choose. Let's get started. Okay, so here I've got OneDrive opened in a browser and we can see this one's called device one. Now I've got another window, this one here in dark mode, this is device two. So I'm going to be demonstrating this procedure using two separate devices, or actually two separate accounts. Device one wants to share a folder with other people in the team or another person in the team and Device 2 wants to have that folder accessible directly from Windows Explorer. In other words, from here. So instead of having to log in to their 365 account and going to the shared with me files, they want to be able to access the files directly from here, just like a network drive. Okay, now right now you can see in my OneDrive folder here, there are no shared folders. I don't have anything which is shared here. So if I want to go and see any of the files that have been shared with me, I currently have to go and log in to my account and go to shared, which is here. And I have a look here where it says shared with me or shared with you. And these are all the files which have been shared with me by other people. So that's not a very uh, easy way to manage your shared files or to work collaboratively with other people. So I'm going to go back to device one and I'm going to go through the procedure with you step by step. So the first step is device one wants to share this folder here, finance, with other people in the finance department. And the procedure of sharing the folder or files is exactly the same as what we would normally do. So we can either do this by selecting the folder and clicking on the share link. We can click on the dot, dot, dot and go to share or we can even do it directly from OneDrive through Explorer. So if I just go to device two, here's my OneDrive. You can actually very easily right click on any folder, click on share, and you can do exactly the same process. So many ways to share the files. Okay, so back to device one. Before I share this, let's have a look and see what's inside this folder finance. So I've got a folder called quotes and some files, some Word documents, Excel documents. It could be absolutely anything you like in here. So let's go back. So let's share this folder. So I'm gonna click on the dot, 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 click on share. And I'm gonna get this dialog box. I'm simply going to write the group of people or the person I want to share with this. I'm just going to share this with me. So my personal account, there we go. And I'm going to modify the, the permission. So I'm gonna say anyone with the link can edit. So I'm going to give myself essentially, or device one is going to give device two permissions to be able to modify this shared folder. You can actually make it a read-only folder as well. I'm going to click on send and what that will do, that's going to send an email to the person that you share the file with. There you go to, there it is there. And that person is going to receive that email and be notified that this file has been shared with them. Now they don't need to respond to this email. They don't need to do anything with this email unless they want to actually open it through the browser. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'm just going to double click on this and there it is. Okay, so this is the email that has been received. Okay, student one, that's device one is actually a student account, student one account has shared this folder with, with you. And if I click on this, it's going to open it up in the browser, but that's not what I want. So I'm just gonna close that for now. Okay, so as far as device one is concerned, the folder has been shared. Now device two should be able to access that. So let's jump over now to device two. So here we are, device two. Now, if device two goes through 365, now it's an absolute must that to do this, you have to go through 365 to set this up. So from OneDrive, device two is going to go to my files, and we're actually going to go to shared. It's going to have a look at what has been shared with me, so shared with you. And if I look here, if I just do a quick refresh, there you go. 
Okay, so this folder here has been shared with me and it's been shared with me by student one and I can actually see that other information here. There you go, shared by student one. And that's been shared with me. Now, obviously I can access the files from here, but that's again, not what I want. So how do I sync this to my OneDrive, uh, to my uh, Windows Explorer or the OneDrive folder in Windows Explorer? Because right now you can see that finance folder is not anywhere in my OneDrive folder. So very easy. Now the little secret is this, you need to first open this folder. Most people are looking for this feature by selecting this folder or clicking on the dot, dot, dot and looking for an option here. It's not going to be there. So what you need to do, you need to click on the folder to open it. Here's the folder with the files which are inside. And now I've got these options. Now you've also got this option here which says add shortcut to my files. I suggest you don't use that method. If you use that, what it's going to do, it's going to add in here the folder finance as a link. And that's fine. You, you will be able to do everything you want to do. But the problem is you won't know who has shared that with you. So with the good thing with a map network drive letter, you know, you can assign a letter to folders and you can actually know which, you know, who shared what with you and what kind of files are in that folder. Whereas with OneDrive, if you're going to be using the method I'm going to show you now, it's actually going to have the name of the person who has shared that with you and it will have the name of the folder as well. So it makes it really clear which folders are folders which are your folders in my files and which folders are actually let's say networked or shared folders from other people. So instead of choosing that, I'm going to open finance like I've done here, and I'm simply going to click on the sync button and that's it. I don't need to do anything else. Now check this out. As soon as I click on this, I'm going to get these two windows here. There you go. One's opened and it's closed automatically. It says that it's syncing the files. And now all I have to do, is just close that, go to windows explorer, and look at that down here. Here's another folder which I shared and it's going to pop up now, but that's okay. Student one finance. And you can see it creates this new directory tree here with the name or the company name or the domain name for your 365 account. And here it says student one folder finance. And if I click on that, here are the files that have been shared with me. Okay, and any changes I make to this will be obviously synced to the main folder and people can work on this collaboratively at the same time. If you delete the file from here, it's deleted from the main folder because you've got full edit rights, or that's the rights that device one has given me. So let's just do so. If I just create a new folder, I'm just gonna call that Nick, and I'm just going to put a, a, a document in, oh, hang on. I'll just make two new folders, doesn't matter. Let's just open Nick here. And I'm just gonna add a new, Word document, which is just a PowerPoint presentation, just a blank one, and leave that there. Now, if we go back to device one and we open up finance, look, the two new folders are there. Nick is there. There's the PowerPoint. I can click on this. I'm just going to write something here just for the sake of it. Now, device one doesn't need to do this process because device one actually owns that folder, so it's in their OneDrive folder anyway. So it's accessible for Windows Explorer, but everyone else that device one is sharing this folder with, this is a nice procedure so that you can very easily access files which are shared with you from your Explorer. So I'm just gonna close that now, go back to device one, oh sorry, device two, here we go. And if I open this up, there are the changes. Okay, so you can work on this collaboratively from anywhere. So that's it, very, very easy. Now I'm just gonna show you a few more things directly from here if you want to stop sharing if you want to stop having access to this folder because somebody has shared that with you you don't need access to it anymore you can actually do that now the trick is to do this you're going to go to your main onedrive folder up here you're going to right click on this and you're going to go to settings and in this dialog box you can see what is being synced and you can actually choose which folders or files to sync for example this is the main onedrive um folder this is this one here so i'm not going to remove that because it won't be synchronizing my personal onedrive anymore but this one here it says look student one finance and i can stop syncing and if i click on stop syncing then this folder is going to vanish from here from my explorer and i can also choose folders okay so i can choose which ones to synchronize
Personally, if I'm going to share a folder and I want access to that folder, I'm going to let it sync all of the files and folders. But that's entirely up to you. I hope you found this useful. If you have, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.